Katie. Welcome to day 10 of Thy Kingdom Come um, with the theme of silence. I'm going to begin with a reading. It's Psalm 62. It's a psalm of David about waiting for God. Truly my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defence. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will you attack a man? You shall be slain, all of you, like a leaning wall and a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his high position. They delight in lies, they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from him, he only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defence. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Surely men of low degree are a vapour. Men of high degree are a lie. If they are weighed on the scales, they are altogether lighter than vapour. Do not trust in oppression, nor vainly hope in robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. God has spoken once, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. Also to you, O Lord, belongs mercy. For you render to each one according to his work. So after reading that, um, I'd just like to share a few of my own thoughts. Um, so after reading that scripture over, something that really stood out to me about the 12 verses is how David declares 12 times with absolute unshaken certainty. what his God, our God, was to him. Um, and what a great but peaceful focus on God that is. Um, and just a bit of homework for me, something that I can do better at. Something for me to try and focus on. Um, he even repeats himself saying that his, it's only God that's his rock and his salvation and his defence. Um, and David knows all that he has to do is wait for God and only God. And it just made me think and it reminded me that in such a time as this, um, a time of less rushing around, a time of fewer distractions, um, maybe a time of worry or uncertainty, that only God is on the throne. And he is the only rock and salvation that we need or that we could ever hope for. And we could use this time to be still and to wait for God because his timings and his will are perfect. So now um, a few reflections for you all. Um, today's theme is silence and our psalm reminds us that it is often in the silence when all the cares and concerns of life are put aside that we find our foundation in God. So in the silence, what is God saying to our church at this time? Something for us all to reflect upon. So um, if we begin our prayers. So let us pray. We pray for our church Lord, may we hear where you are calling us and be bold and courageous to follow. Lord Christ, true light of the world, shine, we pray, in the hearts of your people that we might see the way that leads to eternal life and follow without stumbling, for you are the way, O Christ, as you are the truth and the life. We pray for our community 
especially those who don't yet know you, that the Holy Spirit may engrave on our hearts all that God desires for them. Loving Father, in the face of Jesus Christ, your light and glory have blazed forth. Send your Spirit that we might share with our friends and our community the life of your Son and your love for all. Strengthen us as a witness to that love, as we pledge to pray for them for your name's sake. Amen. And finally, we pray for all the cares and concerns that we are carrying today. And we bring together the words of the prayer Jesus himself taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And we'll finish with the words of the grace, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. So thank you for joining me today in prayer um, and I hope you'll have some time to reflect upon that scripture and some thoughts later. And if you join St Peter's and St Paul's Church again tomorrow for Pentecost. Bye.